This is what happens when the luck runs out. Twice in the past nine years, big passenger jets have collided with small private planes, killing all on board both aircraft. Yet, the warning device designed to prevent such disasters won't be required on airliners until 1991. The question arises, why the delay? These are airline pilots training to escape a deadly weather phenomenon called microburst. It's caused two major crashes in just six years. But a new radar, which can predict microburst, won't be installed, even at our busiest airports, for another three to five years. The question arises, why the delay? And then the plane slammed into the ground. The community was Cerritos, California. And from that day, it would be remembered as the scene of a horrible mid-air collision. Everyone on the Aeromexico plane died, everyone on the small plane, and 15 of the Nelson's neighbors, 82, died that day. At the time of the Cerritos accident, many still believed the ultimate insurance against a mid-air collision was a regulation that pilots see and avoid other planes by watching through their cockpit windows. But the see and avoid rule failed to prevent Cerritos and its limitations in a day of fast-moving jets should have been predicted years earlier when it failed to prevent another mid-air collision. That also involved a small plane, here falling in flames, and again a commercial jetliner, this one from PSA, Pacific Southwest Airlines. The accident came eight years before Cerritos and only 90 miles south in San Diego. 144 died. An automatic cockpit alarm to warn pilots of impending collisions, make them less dependent on seeing and avoiding, might have prevented both these crashes. It was on the drawing board long before either accident. It's called a Traffic Alert Collision Avoidance System, or TCAS. It gives pilots a cockpit display of an approaching plane on a collision course. and a direction to avoid disaster. But technicians couldn't seem to get the bugs out of early versions of TCAS. And in the eight years between the San Diego and Cerritos accidents, no one at the FAA found the situation urgent enough to force the development of TCAS ahead quickly. So that only now, the FAA late last summer, under pressure from Congress, finally ordered airlines to install the TCAS alarm and even then gave the lines until 1991.